is right. Mom? What's wrong? <laughs> I'm here. Everything's all right. Celsius. 
She visits my grave while the night winds wail. Do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean, the left. The left side is the right side. The scaffold was high, and eternity was near. Is that a hitchhiker? You need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. Yeah, so do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? Uh, guess not. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um... Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from. Currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. So, what do you know about this manor we're both coincidentally going to? Hmm. What do you know about it? <laughs> Hold on now, that's not fair. I asked you first. Okay, well... I don't know anything, and I'm guessing neither do you. Mm, I didn't say I didn't know anything. Yeah, you did. You could tell. Kinda, yeah. All I know is that I was invited for a personal audience with Augustine Lieber, and that that was supposed to be super fancy or something, and that it would be in my best interest not to turn it down. Hmm. Huh. What? My invitation was pretty much the same. Take a look. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow.
This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I... doorbell. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way, is it? Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown-up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> then, uh, here we go. Apparently... Why are all the lights off? Beats me. Hello? Let's take a look around. Um, hello? We've arrived. Even I could play this. Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. <laughs> Looking forward to doing business with you. Huh. That's today. I think we might not be the only ones here. Business connoisseur? He's a snob about business? Yuck.
Hey, I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Why? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. Maybe. Do you play? Um... A little. Whoa. <sighs> Crazy, right? Uh, yeah. You've seen a real secret passage before? Uh, it's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors. To allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege of the rich, stolen from the rights of the oppressed. Okay. Hmm. Kid must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. This seems a bit more lively. This is kind of freaking me out. It's weird, right? Arriving at an abandoned mansion with no one to greet you? Yeah. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so... <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Short for... Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington? <laughs> what? Midtown. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. This place is like super duper creep town, right? It's not just me. I was taking a look around before, and let's just say I'm surprised it hasn't been condemned by the local authorities. Yikes. Lights don't even seem to work right. How do you mess up lights? That's like basic modernity, right? Right. Yep. The state of this place doesn't exactly reflect well on our mysterious host. Oh, Stan, this is... Lynn Da Castle. I am... Such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, oh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford III, at your beck and call, only to call me Stan. Right. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. Uh, so what's going on right now? Uh. Well, I think our new friend here is familiar with some of my little oh, movies. Hold on, hold on. Your movies are a lot of things, but they are not little. You're a filmmaker? Uh, yeah. I've made some movies. <laughs> a lot more than some movies, if I may say so. Have you heard of a little film called Buried by the Break of Dawn? Blood Point. Blood Benders. The blade may swing in both directions, but death only moves in one. Um, no. Sorry. Wait, didn't you two come here together? 
Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. Well, nothing illegal, obviously. Oh, obviously. <laughs> A bit of light bedtime reading. poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Murder mill. Hey, either of you heard of murder mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements by... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison. Would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake. Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Uh, 
Uh, no, that's okay. You sure? It's very good. It can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Not quite. I... I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing... All in due course, Ms. Castle. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him 